What about the part of the brain that makes you like nauseous? Can I accept that to be brain damaged? I don't get nauseous often, but it'd be pretty sweet if you never got nauseous again. What if there was a part of a, like brain damage I can get that would like allow you to have an omega boner? What if it goes the other way and you're always nauseous? Oh, that'd be terrible. I want to turn off my gag reflex. Hell yeah, brother. Whatever causes deafness just to have like less good hearing. I don't know. Here's the thing, like money, like money is nice to like have food and shelter and like a little treat every now and then. But like, I've never once said to myself, I need to be a millionaire, you know? Like everybody's thought, wouldn't it be nice? But nobody's ever been like, you know what? I would let somebody go to town with like a, a metal Q-tip on my frontal lobe to get me a million dollars. At least I hope not. How about instead of brain damage, live your retirement with screws, bolts, and metal plates holding your bones together? What if I just never retired? You need to be a millionaire so you can look cool in gotcha games? You're not joking, brother. Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean... Like, there's, there's some nice things you can have with money, from what I can tell. But it's not, it's not like an automatic path to happiness. It's just really a path to, like, not being miserable. Do I have a cute brain? Very smooth. Yeah, can I get brain damage to have a smooth brain? He's kind of a tricky monster sometimes. I think Cheesy Skulls because everybody still deals with the same stuff that everyone else does. Even, even wealthy families. In some ways, I can imagine it's isolating because people are always saying things like, I want to eat the rich. It's a little unnerving. I've heard of people that have like had issues, like they go out with friends, their friends always expect them to pay for dinner or lunch or whatever. And that could be really awkward. And it's like, oh, well, you know, they can afford to pay for dinner. It would sure make everyone else's life easier if they pay for dinner. Oh no! That would have killed me if that were like, G. Yeah, I mean, affording therapy could be a good thing. Wonder if extremely rich people like Bezos, Gates, or Soros feel like that? I'm sure they're all like, varying levels of feeling like that. Like those people that you mentioned, I think all contribute in some ways to charity, but at the same time, like they're still like Omega insanely wealthy. I mean, the funny thing is, like, at that really high end of wealth, like, you already have everything you could possibly ever realistically want. 
And then it's just like a game of like, I got to have bigger number. <laughs> you know? Like, number's not big enough. I need more number. You know, Elon Musk could completely abandon all of his dreams in the future, cash out right now, and never have to worry about another dollar ever again. But guy, guy, guy has some technological ambitions, and he wants a big number. You need Elon to make cat girl technology? Is that what people are hoping he'll do? Wanting money for the sake of money is unhealthy? Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's, it depends on like, what's the price of it, right? And there's nothing wrong with wanting to go to work and make money, I suppose. But when you start like sacrificing ideals and stuff like that, then it gets like omega spooky. Catboy technology? So, are we assuming these cat-human hybrids would be made from whole cloth, or would people be able to transform into those cat creatures? Didn't Notch do that, and then became a Twitter asshole because he had nothing to look forward to in life? Um, well, he made a game that became, in every way, one of, like, the largest games that has ever existed. Um... My understanding is he did cash out, which when you're being offered like, I think a billion dollars, and I don't know how much of that went straight to him, but it was certainly a lot of it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it was worth it to him or not. Uh, he certainly ended up giving a lot of money to charity though. So we can at least give him that much credit. Notch is extremely incel adjacent. I mean, it's just the strangest thing in the world. Like, you're literally a billionaire. How can you not find a happy relationship? Like, get get a therapist, get a dietitian, and get an exercise coach. You'll get there. Work on those three things. He's incredibly ugly. I don't know. I mean, I've seen pictures of him. I mean, nobody, like, look, if you smile and you're nice to people and you at least take some care of yourself, like, you'll be fine. It's like, it's not impossible. I say that for everyone. I don't, I don't think Notch is that bad. For all we know, Owen Nismo is, is Notch. Some plastic surgery? I don't even think he would need that. I can't do any of those things. Well, everybody can afford to count calories because it's literally a free phone app. In terms of exercise, that is extremely... That's challenging because you got to learn how to do it and then you got to do it. But everyone can walk. And in terms of smiling, I mean, you just practice in a mirror, I guess. The racist and misogyny stuff? It's just like so unnecessary. You know, I mean, this is a guy who's brought together, like, massive communities of people. Like, what do you, what do you got to prove, bro? Who put those thoughts in his head? What if people don't have legs? Um, I mean, there's still other body weight exercises they could do. Fortune? <laughs> maybe get maybe get off fortune. I mean that's why I meant sometimes sometimes you might need a therapist. Isn't JK Rowling also holding unpopular opinions and isn't she rich? Yes. Is this smile okay? Yes. The strange thing to me is like for a lot of people to be an asshole in private in their brains is one thing, but to be such an asshole, to be such publicly an asshole, that's the thing that kind of confuses me a lot of the time. Like, what are you doing? You know, like millions of people are paying attention to what you're saying. You're so lucky to be able to have that, command that audience, and you're gonna like, be that asshole? It's an example of situational wokeness. I have no idea what that means.
all assholes should be public. I'm just saying if you've got the sense to be, if you want to be an asshole, just like keep it on your own time. I mean, I understand what you guys are saying. If somebody is a terrific asshole, you want to know about it. Make your asshole public. Make yours first. I mean, like, here's the deal. At the end of the day, it's like, it's 2020. All right. It's not 1980. All right. Where people are assholes everywhere. Assholes in the office. Assholes in public. Assholes in their house. Everyone's share spewing their garbage all over Twitter. All over YouTube. You know? No, don't send me asshole pictures. That's not what I mean. Please don't. Very specifically, I do not... I do not want to see any nude pictures. It's already happened once. <laughs> Why not? I just don't. No videos. Bikini pictures? I don't want any of that. Same person that sent me the Spongebob naked photo also sent me a picture of their nipple. And I don't want to see that. Do you want to see a rotting toe? Absolutely not. Get your toe fixed, dude. What's wrong with you? Penis hentai is fine? No. I'll get the doggo fanfiction because of Rise. You're waiting for the doctor's call? Are they gonna... Are they gonna amputate it? So if you become a Twitch streamer, you'll get a nipple pick. Maybe. Yeah, Jen says to be nice to you because she's keeping a little collection of nude viewer photos. Look, every content, there's so many content creators out there, out there trying to grub up those naked pictures. I don't know what their problem is. What are you doing? There's plenty of other naked pictures on the internet. Not that I know about it. But like, why do you specifically want to see your fans naked? There's lots of naked people. Yes. Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know enough about the story. People be horny. 